So Dave, you tweeted, uh, tweeted at uh, lunchtime that uh, today was a weave up day, at least for the first part of the day. What do you mean by that, and what do you recommend how to approach a situation like that? Uh, yeah, so so uh, we put the word out uh, midday or at, I guess the late morning on something called the VWAP trade. I call it the VWAP trade. And what the VWAP trade is, it's you have the volume weighted average price. Uh, for me, that's always when I feel like the market will gravitate towards the flat line on the day or towards the middle part of its range. If you think about it, all the volume combined with all the ranges combined and you get to a certain middle of that uh, where when the market goes a little bit higher and then goes a little bit lower, it ends up gravitating back towards the middle. So if you follow me to my screen, uh, you know, take a look at uh, this is just the SPY uh, and here in the middle of the day, this is where the VWAP call went out during this process. So if you see uh, let's talk about this being the top part of the range uh, and this down here being the bottom part of the range. If you see it went basically from up here to down here to this middle and in this middle where it hung out for that full hour that we talked about, there's actually real money to be made in here because you have a very tight range, uh, then it gravitates back towards the bottom part of the range and the way you protect yourself on this trade is that once it breaks lower than the range, which is right here at 121.80, uh, stock breaks lower. Once it goes lower than that range, the VWAP trade is over. Now you have a trend that comes back again. So we talk about uh, three different uh, types of days, uh, three different types of trends, I guess, to also trade. You have an uptrend, you have a downtrend, and you have this channel trend. And when the stock is in a channel, or we, you know, at times I call it a VWAP trade, where it's gravitating back towards that middle line, um, that's the one where you capitalize on the top part of the range and the bottom part of the range, obviously going short at the top part and going long at the bottom part. So a person may say, but what if it, the continuation happens and it follows through to the upside or to the downside, as it did after that time period, after that lunch happened, that lunchtime happened, you protect yourself by having a stop in. So if you can make the difference between here and here at all times, and then once it breaks lower, you get stopped out and you know you put in a automatic stop, which most traders, I recommend for them to put on these stops, always have automated stops, keep the uh, discipline sort of out of your hands at times and let it go into the hands of the computer and put in a trade where a person can't then start uh, negotiating with themselves, hey, maybe I'll hold on for a little bit longer. You do this trade over and over and over in this range and the last time out of 10 times, it breaks lower, you protect yourself by putting the stop in and that really happens at any time. Uh, so we've learned and we've seen over the past couple of days uptrends, downtrends, range bound trades as we saw during lunchtime today um, and we sort of put the word out there uh, you know on that also uh, for me it was a pretty slow day you know I only put a couple hundred dollars on my screen again but you know being positive every day uh, not only helps your uh, confidence and helps your foundation helps your trading skills but it also helps your bank account and also helps your finances uh, so remember if it's not your type of day uh, you can take it slow if it is your type of day you must step it up and you must really capitalize um, the broadcast was tremendous today so I want to congratulate the shines room community as we had our largest audience uh, to date and uh, you know markets moving all over the place uh, we are entering a quiet uh, time period as we enter Labor Day weekend uh, so we're off on Monday I hope everybody enjoys their holiday weekend and we'll see you guys next week Thank you, Dave. Thank you.